I'm back with the last day of this fearless challenge. How exciting to be here, made the journey. I wanted to end with a summation of all the videos that I have done and just review with you why I've done this. What do I really want from doing this challenge? And I also promised the transmission. So I'm gonna do a bonus video and offer a live transmission for you guys and see how that goes. But I'll put it in two different clips, two different parts. So this isn't super long. So my whole motivation for doing this was to be brave and to live a brave life. What that means to me is to show up and be real, be transparent, open, honest, vulnerable, authentic. That acronym that I shared in the beginning it was for brave. It was B for bold, R for real, A for authentic, V for vulnerable, and E for exposed. And it's so much more than that because being brave is also just being courageous enough to share myself and have an open heart. So it's not that warrior bravery and um, that kind of going into battle bravery, but it's more of the softening and the opening of the heart, the heart bravery, the courage. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I've shared. There's so much more that has been inspired that I want to continue sharing with you guys. I have some really dear friends and clients that I would love to do some interviews with so we can have a conversation about some of these topics and their experience. So I'm looking forward to sharing some future interviews and videos of that nature. I've done a few in the past and they always provide <clears throat> so much in-depth connection and conversation that uh, it inspires me. So I hope that you will enjoy that too. And I'm just curious what you've gotten from this 30 day challenge, whether you've just popped in and watched a video here or there, or if you were brave enough to take the time and watch the whole thing. What is what was that experience like? Were you encouraged to do your own challenge in some capacity? What came up in reviewing your own life? I'd love to hear that. And so one of the last videos that I want to do is about all the information that's available to us. We have so much coming at us in terms of knowledge and data and stimulation. So if you have watched us, thank you for taking the time. I value that and I honor your time. And with so much coming at us, how do we sift through that? Because I really feel like everything is available to us. We live in such an incredible time, an information age where we have access to so much. And what we give our attention to is where the energy flows and that really directs our power. And so uh, there's a direct relationship to energy and power and attention. So setting an intention for how I want to live my life, what do I really want? And so part of doing this series was also to create connection. It's a real passion of mine to build community, to make some big positive changes in this world and start to build and, and live the world that we want to see. So if we want to see it, then we want to start living it and come together and talk about our values, talk about what's important to us, talk about what we really cherish and honor both in ourselves and one another. So I really love this opportunity to share my practices and also to share more about myself and how I got to this point in my journey. So I really cherish my friends and my community as my family, as I've mentioned in the past. And we're all part of this global family. And we could even just say this multidimensional family because we are a part of this universal family too. But just even on this planet, we're seeing with all of the opportunities to communicate and utilize the technology that we are extending into a global family and we are influencing one another more than we even really know. So how to do that in a positive way, how to show up in the world so that not only 
can you live the most fulfilled life, but it feels fulfilling to live that life together. Those are the things that are really important to me. So this is my offering here is my dedication and my desire to make an impact and to be of service. This is part of my desire to accomplish my reason for being my soul path and purpose is to show up in that way not only offering the healing tools and techniques and these transmissions but to be it to be uh, an example to be a mentor to be someone who is living the path we need more living embodied examples around us to inspire us to encourage us and to have confidants to have guides and so I really appreciate how many more teachers on the spiritual path are popping up sharing their connection to the higher planes and higher realms. It's always been a little scary for me or intimidating to share openly how my connection to source has had the hugest impact on my life, this communication I have with spirit in the higher plane, but it's becoming more normalized. And I do feel like I've shared in several videos that the most important work that you can be doing right now is to connect to your own source, to connect to your soul self and to spirit and to realize how much you are guided. So when I say there's so much information available to us now, it's not just through the internet, it's actually through the in interweb, I call it. It's, it's our own interweb and our connection to everything. We can start to increase our sensitivity. Our sensitivity is our superpower. And when we tap into our extrasensory abilities, we can communicate and hear the wisdom and messages from the land, from the trees, from the earth herself as a living consciousness. That's so important that we commune and connect to the elementals of the earth, that we understand that we're all living in the same domain together. And this living library, that's not only the earth, it's also our bodies, and it all is symbiotically interchanging and exchanging with one another. So our health is the health of the planet and the health of the planet is our health. So just to realize and understand the depth of in interconnectivity we have is so huge. And so that is part of what I wanted to share in terms of wrapping this up is how to honor the earth, how to honor myself and my path and how to honor you and one another as we walk our truth and live our highest and best life. So thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this journey with me. I am so grateful that I showed up. There is just a huge celebration that came by. So that is also part of what I really want. Uh, not only that connection and that community and that sense of com camaraderie, but that we actually take the time to live the joy experience that we live in joy that we love more and laugh more and we spend time celebrating more we spend time really enjoying this precious life that we've been given even more so that was really fun that this whole parade came by and so i was waiting for that uh to end before shooting the video and i was laughing that this is this is part of what it is that i want is to take these days, these precious days, and to celebrate life as well as to live our dharma and know our purpose and show up in a big way to have that impact in the big and small ways and enjoy the journey. So I'll come back and do a live transmission as I promised, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. I'll probably do it on uh, the freedom experience and the relationship between freedom and time. Those are some topics that have been coming through this morning as I prepared for this. But we'll see. We'll see what Source has to say. You can reach me if you'd like to stay in touch at jenhealy.org. Uh, please do reach out either on social media platforms or through my website. I'm completely open to continuing the conversation and to hear from you. 
feel free to still ask me anything about my journey as we roll along. And I am going to be celebrating for July and August with some travels for my birthday. So I might be out of town for a little while, but I do plan on sharing more of the programs that I'm launching this fall with the OPP program and some of the source speaks and transmissions and things like that. So keep an eye out. They're on Facebook. They're on YouTube. They're all on the channels. And I'll see you next time for the live transmission. Thank you again for joining me. Aloha.